guys, what's going on? It's Kobe today, and today we're back for another Call of Duty Black Ops 3 video. Today we'll be breaking down the XR2 Assault Rifle. This is one of the two burst assault rifles in the game, which makes some of the statistics a little bit more interesting than they would usually be. Anyway, let's get right into it. First, we'll start off with the damage. The damage is 40 up close and 30 at a distance. This makes it a 3 to 4 shot to kill, which is average for most of the assault rifles I've seen, so nothing really out of the ordinary there. Anyway, next we get to the fire rate, which is one of the big statistics that varies from other guns with the burst weapons. So, the fire rate is 857 poor burst. So, as you guys know, burst weapons obviously burst, and there's a little bit of delay in between each burst, so that makes the fire rate a little bit harder to calculate, but per burst, just the burst, it's 857. This is not countering in the delay. The delay does make the fire rate a little bit slower, but you can counter that with a different attachment that I'll recommend later. Some of you guys might know what it is, but we'll get to that later. Anyway, next we'll get into the reload speed. The reload speed is 2.8 seconds empty and 2.3 seconds with a bullet in the magazine. This is pretty good fire rate, especially for assault rifles. Assault rifles usually tend to be a tad bit slower, but from the assault rifles I've seen, they're a little bit faster than other games. The only ones I've checked out so far are the KN and XR2. However, both of those have been very good. Next, we'll get into recoil. The recoil is good, just like most burst weapons. As you guys know, most burst weapons don't have hardly any recoil. It mainly just stays in the same spot because it is a burst. It doesn't, you aren't constantly holding down the trigger, so the gun doesn't really go up that much. Next up, we got the magazine size. The magazine size is 30 rounds regularly and 42 with extended mags. This is overall just decent. You aren't going to be burning through ammo too fast because it's a burst weapon. So uh, you aren't going to be needing to run extended mags. And you can probably just stick with the regular 30 rounds. Next, we'll get into the iron sights. As you guys know, I usually try to use the iron sights, and I'm kind of biased towards iron sights, but I do think these iron sights are very good, and there's not much need to run a sight. I can understand some people running a sight, but overall, I don't think you really need to. Uh, they are good, in my opinion. They aren't too blocky. I don't really like the ring, how it makes a ring all the way around it, but they overall aren't too bad. Next up, we get into our attachments. My recommended attachments are going to be Quick Draw, Stock, and Rapid Fire. Those are the three I run. And then if you don't like the Iron Sights, you can definitely throw an ELO side on there. So basically, Quick Draw is just going to let you aim down faster and be in your sights before the enemy. So this one helps out a lot. I recommend it on almost every gun. Next, we'll go with Stock. Stock lets you uh, stray faster while you're aiming down sights. Another good one, kind of like Quick Draw, that I recommend on almost every gun. And next is the countering attachment that I was talking about earlier. It's called Rapid Fire. You guys probably know about it. But basically, what it'll do is it'll cut down the burst delay so you can tap it a lot faster and it'll actually make the fire rate increase and be better so rapid fire is a very good one to put on burst weapons and finally elo sight just helps if you don't like the iron sights Anyway, overall, this is a very, very good gun. I definitely recommend you guys try it out. You can kill in one burst up close, which is a good thing. And it also has a pretty good reload speed and a solid fire rate. There's nothing really bad with this weapon. It's just a uh, medium to good weapon, and I definitely suggest you guys try it out. And let me know how you do with it if you guys do try it out. Also, let me know how you're liking this series, and smash that like button if you if you did like this video also subscribe for more black ops 3 videos and just thanks so much for watching and i will see you guys next time